welcome to Crazy Bake. Yes, I'm in the same clay, I'm doing a different recipe. So I'm on once clap a board, so there you go. Um today for this recipe I'm going to be doing a millionaire's shortbread with cabbage cream eggs on the top of it. Uh, I'm gonna crack on with it now because I don't normally rest my doughs with the pastries. I don't have time. But this one does require a little bit of time. I've got my process thing out uh, just for this. It makes life easier. You can use your hands, you can mix it, you, whatever you want to do. Eat I don't it. care. Mess, get you. So I've got my butter. It's supposed to be um, unsalted butter, but I don't add salt to anything, so I always use salted butter because I like it. Um, my brown sugar and my flour. I've got plain flour, by the way. Hmm. Got my gadgets back together again. Oh, it makes it so hard life, doesn't it? That's going to be the right way. <laughs> and I'm just going to post that. Um, <laughs> oh, you're after is like um, a soft. That should be okay. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Yeah, that'll be fine. Take the cutty cutty out. Ooh, we don't want that. Anyway. Yeah, and as you can see, that's going to go together nicely. Uh, I need my container. That's in. Make a mess. Like you do. I'm just going to put all that. That I am in a minute. Put that on. Sure, have a look. You want to have a look? We'll just Add work out. Squidgy. Squidgy, squidgy. I'm just going to. Put it out in this dish. Oh, try not to do that. Paper slides. Gonna make sure it fits in. It's a bit cold, but. So that it's not up the sides, preferably. Try and get it. Uh, you can do it you know, with a spoon. Some people use a glass. 
this time get it even by itself. It's a bit hard time consuming, but no, no. Are you tired? Want some lunch? You can say some people use glass. And all I'm going to do is pop that into the freeze, into the fridge, into the freezer, into the fridge for about 20 minutes. So it gives my butter a little bit of time to sort itself out and to cool. It'll actually set a little bit firmer. Oh, there we go. It hasn't got to be perfect because we're going to cover it. My shortbread has now been in the fridge for about 20 minutes. It doesn't matter if it's a bit longer. As you can see, it's firmed up. I'm going to put it in the oven now for 30, 35 minutes. Um, guess mark three. Put all the others down there. Um, let that do. Be back in a minute. Ready? <laughs> right. He never tells me if he's videoing me or what. Yeah. So here we go. Nice golden brown. Yet. It doesn't matter because we're going to put a load of gooey goodness over the top of it. This now needs to cool. It's been in the oven for about 30 minutes. Obviously, it's 30, 35 minutes depending on your oven. So I need to put this to cool. So I'm impatient. I'm going to shove it in the fridge. Boom. In a saucepan, <coughs> I'm going to combine, <coughs> excuse me, my daughter's around, my butter, <laughs> I will leave, actually no I'll wait, Simon to leave all the description, butter, Golden cast uh, sugar. Mmm. So sweet. Um, golden syrup. syrup. I know some places actually don't do golden syrup, but. Use honey if not. We could use honey, yeah. Um, there is an alternative, I've forgotten what it's called at the moment, that they use. I'm waiting to get some honey from one of our cousins. And a tin of condensed milk. To do enough video. Oh, what a waste. I could hear. <clears throat> Other brands are available. <laughs> yeah. Depends where you live. All different. I love this. I could actually eat this out the tin, so I was quite disappointed to put it in a recipe. But here we go. I'm not going to use my plastic spatula. That might melt. <laughs> yeah. After the accidents we've had today, I think it might. This has to be precise. <laughs> It would rather burn the wooden spoon or burn the I'm the going pan. to put that on so a low heat. Push it onto my small rim. And um, just 
melt in so that the butter and the sugar melt together. This could take a bit of a time. You really need to do it on a low heat because you don't want to burn it. And uh, you don't want your sugars to sit on the bottom of your pan. And now you can see the butter has all melted. I can't really feel the sugar in there with the spoon. So what I'm going to do is just gently turn the heat up. Don't want too much heat. And I'm going to get that so that it's got a slight bubble to it and carry on for about five to eight minutes. So it is a time consuming thing but it will thicken. Basically what we're doing is um, waiting for it to thicken. I'll stop that. Like I said, take your time with it and please do remember things like this are hot extremely hot do take your time and you're just waiting for it to thicken up I have moved it over onto one of my other burners now because I had it on my little simmer burner because you do want to start the melting of the butter and that on a really low heat. So, I'm just going to pick this up a little bit longer and then we'll be back. There we are, that's thickened up a bit, and this is going to be hot. So I'm going to bring it over and just pour it. Over the top. We'll put leave that to set. that's that and we can go on to the next bit once it's set so see you in a bit <laughs> I've just smelted my top clerk and I'm just going to put these few bits in just to help with the tempering of it and they will hopefully melt down in my top clerk there's after it's cooled down how long would you say it's been in there for? Oh. 40 minutes, yeah, 45 man. minutes, about that. Obviously this... It's a long process. The proper way to do it is you've got to bring it to temperature, bring it down to a temperature to get a really crisp paste. Just... It's a long process this one, isn't it? Yes. It's like and... 5 o'clock in the evening now. <laughs> I will say with this one, please be careful. This is extremely hot to make. If it does splash on you, it will burn. So here we are. It's set. It's not um, solid. It's not supposed to be a toffee. It's a caramel. Like a fudge, really. Fudge. Yeah. So, my chocolates. 
Now I've melted. I have my lump from now to dinner. Maybe I'd better off using a cloth. Mm. Bit cock handy when I'm trying to do it for a show thing. Uh, do you want me to hold the bowl? It's gonna. There's a spoon I'll scrape it, isn't it? Leave your spoon on your toffee, it will melt it. And then I'm just going to help that along. This is going to be probably very sweet. Delicious. Because it has extra sweetness in it <clears throat> not good if you're a diabetic mm. <laughs> no. but if you want to hide and have some but for a little treat this is good 90% sugar <laughs> <laughs> sure idea Yeah, because it's good as a treat. You cut them in treat um, sizes. As I said, we're doing the Cabs Cream Egg, so there isn't enough in there. I didn't have small ones. I only had big ones, so I've cut them. And um, you can... Yeah, that way and do it I'm upside um, down. Really sort of put them anyway. Yeah, leave them some upside down. You want some the other way. on there. A bit sticky because I didn't have been in the fridge. Okay, just give them a move around. You can hopefully give everybody a piece. There we go. Just going to leave that to set. So, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Please Be back for this. Just to taste. Um, follow us. Give the little bell notification. I believe that sets, and we can come back and show you the cutting of it. Hi, welcome back to Crazy Bay. And here we are, here's the finished product that takes a while. Now, this isn't the recipe I normally would use, so I've tried it a different and it is um, more of a uh, sticky, sticky version, I suppose, of it, but... It does actually taste mm. okay. Mm. It does taste nice. Like. You can pick it up, but like I say, it is um, quite sticky. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. No, it's him. I normally make my millionaire shortbread with a thicker um, caramel than a fudge. And this is like a soft fudge. So. <laughs> 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 um, 
Mm. Here you go. Mm. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe. Give us the thumbs up. Mm. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.